What does this song mean? My whole life, I don't know what this song means. I mean, should old acquaintance be forgot? Does that mean that we should forget old acquaintances? It doesn't mean that if we happen to forget them, we should remember them, which is not possible because we already forgot them. Well, maybe it just means that we should remember that we forgot them or something. <laughs> anyway, it's about old friends. Ah, it is a long-standing tradition to share a kiss with someone at the stroke of midnight on New Year's Eve. Sometimes it's someone you know, sometimes it's someone you maybe just met. We never know how <laughs> yeah, it'll you're go. you're right. I know Tess is all geared up for this. It's all she's been talking about all morning long. Uh, but for many, it's the perfect way to start the new year off, right? But why is that? It's a good question. Relationship expert Dr. Gilda Carl is here talking about the significance of this kiss. Where did all this start? Oh, wow. Goes all the way back to ancient Rome. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. You know how they had their parties. Do as parties. the Romans do. Oh, yes. There was, there was Rome. song and dance and debauchery of every kind, drinking and all of that. And then at midnight... The kiss. Okay. And everybody thought that was wonderful to bring me into happily ever after. But then the Renaissance came in and the beautiful ball gowns and everything. And then when they removed their masks, then the person you were near kissed you. Ah. And that relationship was going to be cemented for the rest of your life. However, wow, better be careful. The person who didn't have Scary. anybody to kiss. What do you do with that person? Yeah. And then came English and German folklore. And they believed that you must have a kiss at midnight. If you don't, then you're going to have one year of solid kisslessness. <laughs> So, I was so going to say, one gonna... year of bad luck or what? So, so where do you go with that? You know, I, I wrote this book, Don't Bet on the Prince, and one of the chapters is called When You, when you Dream of Princes, You mm -hmm. Wake Up with Toads. And if you're kissing oh gosh, a toad just because you have nobody else to kiss, yeah. then you're going to be in trouble. And that's what, do you feel like sometimes people do that? It's New Year's Eve, everyone feels like they have to go to they a have party, to. you know, things like that. And do, do, the pressure is on to have someone to kiss. Well, the, you may say that. However, kissing exchanges 80 million bacteria. So, so Forget you know, it. I'm never this, kissing again. This, this took a turn to the south all of a sudden. <laughs> I, I knew that would get you. And so, you know, I, I, I speak in front of high school and college kids, and I ought to get a T-shirt that says, was that kiss worth 80 million bacteria, guys? No. You know, you have hey, to... Hey, many, many a stroke as midnight I've kissed my own hand, because that was oh. all there was. <laughs> Let's admit it, we're usually asleep. I don't remember the last time I stayed up till midnight. Well, because so. you're used to the early mornings, Yeah, and with course. kids, you know, yeah, 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 kiss yeah. your babies, yeah. that's for sure. But, but the point is that just because you need, in your head, to feel as though you're getting kissed doesn't mean that you're going to have romance for the rest of your life. All right. I mean, despite all the folklore, despite all the things that we've been told. So where do you go from this? What if you're single? Oh, you go to Scotland. If you're single, you go to Scotland. There you kiss everybody in the room. But everybody then, kisses. But then think... <laughs> That's even more nah. terms. I know. Yeah, so no, think thanks. of the 80 million bacteria. Touch 100 people if you're in a room of 100 people. <laughs> so sometimes it's better to remain kissless, despite what go. the folklore tells you. But you'll know that in the new year, you're going to turn a new leaf. Everything's going to change. What about a kiss on the cheek, though, between friends? A lot of people will do that for New Year's, well, right? That's not going to exchange so much bacteria. Okay, that's better. So that's, that's better. safer. Tess, you know what's the gonna, best you're way? Gonna, this. You're going to get an elbow, elbow or a high five, <laughs> yeah, for sure. And Mario, you don't get anything. Aww. Aww. And that's what's so great. In your book, um, Don't Bet on the Prince, numerous tips of not feeling the pressure all the time, Well, right? the thing is... To, to how to have romance by betting on yourself. And you Love don't it. have to have a date. You don't have to have a kiss. You don't have to have somebody right by your side on New Year's Eve. Okay. Because you have the whole year to expand into the right person, not just any old don't person. Don't rush it. No, exchange that bacteria. It. It's not worth it. <laughs> All right. Love thank it. you. Happy New, New Year's to you. Happy New Year. Thank you.